Okay, I'm Bob from Paradise, and today we're going to look at the giant bat plant, or the white bat plant, or as we call it, the giant white bat plant. It is uh, Tacker integrifolia, and we don't call it the white bat plant because it gets a fair bit of purple in it, as you can see. Um, this is Tacker integrifolia. Um, you can see the two big dorsal fins uh, on the plant. Oh, this is on the flower. The flower now, and the big whiskers that hang down to the almost to the ground sometimes and uh, this here develops into the uh, seed pods. Now, these, in our area, these start flowering in January and um, we've had them go right through to June. So, you can see we're getting good flowering here this year and uh, I might just show you um, some seed pods. We'll go down, down into here. See these seed pods? These are from last year's flowers. And you've got to wait for. I've just got to get a mosquito. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, these are last year's pods, and you've got to wait until the new flowering to get mature um, seed out of the out of the pod. So you usually you don't always beat the rats to it. If there's any rats around, they'll go and beat them on you. So. 12 to 15 months on the on the plant, and they've got to be used really fresh. Um, so it's not, if you're buying seed, you've got to be very careful that you're getting fresh seed. You can't it's only a very small seed inside there. It's about 100 in each each one, but they'll very quickly um, dry out. So you can see we've got quite quite a few flowers here. These plants here are well, uh, some of them five years old. One of them, the main one here. I don't know if, if you can get a shot down there, Maddie. If you can see the big rhizome that they develop over time. So this one, that one's been there about 10 years. Um, it's actually fell over in the pot. It's a long story to it. And we left it there to develop. So you can see how it's growing. They love shade, really shady area. This plant, because it's in difficult circumstances, is this high. But I've seen them up here, so easily two metres tall. Um, when the year we applied vermicast to these every week, uh, the leachate of our from our um, our worm um, farm down there, and we just poured some on every week. We got ten times as many flowers. We only we only had um, two bat plants here then. Ten times as many flowers, and they flowered right from January right through to June. So it says a fair bit for the um, worm vermicast in. Um, for, bat for flowering and it works well for flowering for anything and we've got a separate video showing you how to apply uh, vermicast to your plants. Um, so I think that just about um, covers these plants here. We might just go up and show you the plants that we actually um, have available at the moment. And we'll just, we'll just um, head up here. Um, yep, go up here. Snake really and more fellas And we come over down through here. These are the bat plants that we're selling now. These are giant bat plants. These are actually two year old plants. Um, we hold them as long as we can in the smaller pot. And believe it or not, once we release they don't mind being a little bit root bound. Once we these were the same as these two weeks ago, so that's how quickly they grow in warm weather. So these ones are due to be um, potted up as well. So, so all our giant bat plants are now in the in the slightly bigger four-inch pot. Those ones over there are black bat plants. That's this year's crop, and uh, you can see they're doing quite well. They're starting to dry out a little bit here because we put all our bat plants in a really coarse mix about oh, similar to uh, bromeliads about 40% coarse 15 millimeter coarse mix with your normal potting mix so it drains very quickly and uh, the idea is to keep them in winter as, as dry as you can just wait till the leaves flop down a little bit and then then water them just let them dry out a bit between waterings so that's the way to kill a bat plant is to over water it in winter they do um, these ones come from Malaysia the black ones and um, Southeast Asia and the 
white ones come from Southeast Asia too, but there's a colony of them up into the um, above Darjeeling in India, um, in the foothills of the Himalayas. So they do get into some fairly um, cool country. Um, so I think that just about covers what we want to say about the the bat plants. Um, best time to get them is from spring right through to about March. Um, only pot them up in the in the warm weather. If you're two months off winter, don't you know stop potting them up in in March. I would say. So just remember um, with bat plants or any plants that you can do it. And just just remember um, how it's spelt. Just like that, you can do it. Thank you.